Okay, so it's me again, and I'm getting kind of tired of doing wheelchair reviews, but I did promise that I would do a review for the Invictus Active Wheelchair Wheel. Actually, sorry, it's an off-road wheel. So, what's different about this wheel? Well, as you can see, it's pneumatic and it has a good tread. That's the first thing. And that's what makes it an off-road wheel, fundamentally. Um, but, um, what do you get in the box when it comes? So what did I get in my box? I'll tell you what I got. So what I got was some wheels and some quick release wheelchair axle pins. And they look pretty cool, actually. They look a bit like this with the Invictus sign on the on the bottom. But I, I, I didn't use them. Um, we had to use them with these additional um, kind of, um, I don't know what they're called. Somebody will tell me the name, this additional little rivet thing. Uh, they didn't actually fit the size of the wheelchair or relate in any way to the wheelchair. So as, you, as you'll be able to see, I have actually used, this is an Invocate Action, and I am actually just using the original Action um, axle that came with the wheelchair. This is an NHS backup wheelchair. So I just want to say, I'm not an active user of a wheelchair, which is why I'm prescribed my, my power chair. Um, but if you are going to be using a, um, a backup um, manual chair, then it's probably, I would advise that you do get a set of off-road wheels because it can make such a big difference to have off-road wheels if you are going to be having someone pushing you in, in an environment that is, off, well, off-road. And if you want an attachment, then you definitely want to have some off-road wheels. Um, I personally love the loop wheels, as you'll see from some of my other reviews. They're just outstanding. However, uh, and one of my reviews does show them being pushed as well. However, um, they do not fit on um, a standard wheelchair, so you cannot use them in that way. So um, I just want to say a couple of things that uh, you have to bear in mind if you're going to use these 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 uh, wheels so one of the things is obviously get yourself a pump because these are pneumatic wheels and you will need the pump i mean maybe i need the pump a little bit more than the average person you know because of my weight but um you'll definitely need your pump so do not get your wheels without your pump now the other thing is is that the inside ring i don't know if you can see this inside ring here but this is actually smaller than the ring you would get on a 24 inch wheel so when you go to push your arms are hanging down longer. That might be a good thing for you, but also this is just like, I don't know, anodized um, steel or something, I don't know. But it's not like a very pushable material. You might wanna buy a good pair of wheelchair gloves and I'll probably do a small review about a good pair of wheelchair gloves because I did search for a pair that were suitable for me personally and I did actually find a really good pair in the end. So you might want to use a good pair of wheelchair gloves. What what um, Invictus have done recently, I noticed on their website, is that when you order the wheel, you can also order the correct um, the correct axle pin size for it. And it can even has a little video explaining how you can ascertain what is the correct size and what to do if they don't have your size. So that's something that's changed. The other thing is, I have noticed that, say, so see, because you've got the the smaller in inner ring here. You're not going to be able to use, if you like using your rubber add-ons and colours, you're going to be able to do that. But what Invictus have recently done is they've made them available with different colours. They don't have my favourite purple one, but they have some interesting colours so that you can have a little bit of colour added on to your wheel. So I think that's really all I need. I don't know what to, to really, uh, what else to say. I mean, the only thing I would say, if you are pushing yourself and you're going to be not not so comfortable with the the smaller inner ring you'll probably find that you'll be pushing on the actual wheel itself anyway but that may be um something that just naturally does happen when you're using off-road wheels hence get yourself a pair of good wheelchair gloves have you got any questions if you've got any questions about these wheels oh i forgot i forgot before i go yeah another really cool thing about these wheels is as I said, I use my own axle pins to just to attach them. But also, what was really cool is you don't have to change your brakes. That is one of the best features. So they actually made the wheels, and that's why the that's why the inner rings are smaller because they made the wheels so that 
when you interchange the wheels, you do not have to change where your where your um brakes are. So that's a really good feature, isn't it? And like I said, if you've got any other questions, or I've left anything out, or you want to add any of your comments, please do. This video is just a homemade video made by my son and my daughter there behind the camera. So please, no critical comments about the actual filming. But, you know, we do this because we love you and we want you to have good products and not waste your money. Bye.